Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, I'll be playing some Sunbright Whirlwind into France 6. This is a matchup I've done way too many times. I love this matchup. Um, it's 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 fun. Um, it's a pretty good matchup for Sunbright. And let's make sure I set up correctly. One in the highest number of sands and two in the lowest mountain. I always forget that. Okay, so France 6. See that starting explore is sands, of course, it's always our disease land. And I'm going to France 6. We'll France 6 over here into my C4. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place my presence here on C6 using my special rule to push out the explorer here. I guess I'll do like this into C1. So let me do that. So I'm going to choose my G3. The build I like doing with Sunbright is I go G3, G3, G2, all along the bottom track, and it is very strong. I'm going to gain that miner, and like I said, I'm going to put that presence here, and I'm going to push that explorer over here to C1. And ideally, we're looking for zero-cost sun air, and what do you know? We got one. Twilight Fog is one of the best cards in the entire deck for us, and that is because it's a zero-energy uh, sun air. It has that push text which means we can make it fast if we want with Gift of Windsped Steps. And it adds Strife, which is going to be very good into France. Um, so I'm just definitely going to grab Twilight Fog. The rest of the cards are decent, but Twilight Fog is like one of those god-tier drafts. And a lot of times I like playing Scatter into the Winds this turn. Um, another idea could be I could play Twilight Fog trying to Strife that city here. Um, like I could do these two this turn. And then next turn, just play a single card. And then the next turn, I guess this is probably fine, right? Because I have the Aeronate, so I could push the Explorer. And I have, I could Strife the City. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do this. See how this plays out. Usually I only play one card turn one, and then I play two on turn two. But let's see, so build Sands, and the Explorer is going to be Wetlands. And I'm going to France 6 into my C6 because this land is going to, um, because it's just going to ravage and clear. So a lot of times, this is where we use that scatter into the winds, such that we can um, push uh, building, like stop a city build. I think I'm just supposed to let this city build occur, and instead use scatter into the winds. I guess I can go here. So like, I can go push explorer to here, push explorer to here. And then I also can push to Han, so I guess I'll throw one to Han here. And then one to Han over here. And then um, well, before I do that, I use Twilight Fog, allowing me to strife the city here. And I'll probably leave the building here and just um, let the Dahan kill the Explorer. And then next turn, I can set up if this explores, I can just deny it quite nicely. I guess I'll go... Uh, I think I'll go explore over here, actually, into C7. And you know, I'll leave my Dahan here in case I get access to the... Um, well, next turn I can France 6 there. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, and then I have my innate. Violent Windstorms, I can push another explorer. Uh, I don't think I have any good targets for this. So I think I'm just going to pass. Yeah, so maybe it was a mistake to play it this turn. Get another miner. Oh gosh, there's Sky Stretch. Another, like, this is a great pickup. Um, we also got Reaching Grasp, another zero cost um, Sun Air. And I think, so I can stop another build. I was hoping for a defend here. I could grow here, push it to the Han, and then let this land trade. Don't think so. I think I'm just supposed to put the presence here. And then I think I'm supposed to grab Pact of the Joint Hunt and just play Pact this turn. Allowing me to possibly gather stuff into here. Do that. I think I just play Pact, and then next turn I play these three cards, and I underplay here. 
And the idea is next turn I'll have that air. And then when I play these three with my air, I'm going to hit that tier three of the innate. This seems pretty good. And what I've done is um, these two lands, I'm just going to kill the explorers. I'm completely okay with that. I can France six here. And then um, I'll take the blade on C8. And I think I'll, I think I'm in like amazing position. Um, of those other cards, uh, it's like Reaching Grasp, Sky Stretches, those aren't bad cards. It's just Pack to the Joint Hunt lets me get ahead. Like, um, if if it's Mountains, I can use it here, or I can use it here. Like, I, it's just such a flexible card. Um, now, you might be saying, why not push the Dahan out of C1 to kill the city? Um, I'm trying to play around the Coastal card. If that Coastal card comes up, then um, I want there to be buildings such that there'll be less Explorers. So, Sacred Sites under threat. Um, this is kind of sad um i mean the good news is i will gain a power card with this but the bad news is is i think it just causes my sacred site here to be destroyed so goodbye sacred site that that is a little sad because i don't want to pay for it and i gain the fear from the beast's prowl and then i get a minor power because i have four to han i have two three and four let's see what we get oh my gosh just get all of the sun airs this game um, we also got Living Energy, which is an amazing support card. Um, I think I'm actually going to grab Tear Turns to Madness just because I want a, um, a way to get a lot of fear. I could see an argument for Roiling Bog as well, but let's go grab uh, Tear Turns to Madness. Okay, so Sands Ravage, dead. Dead. Build Wetlands. And the Explorer's Mountains, perfect. And I need a France 6. Like I said, I'm going to France 6 right over to here. Oh my, I am, um, I actually might be able to completely clear this wetland out with my, uh, my innate here, because I'll be able to do five damage. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can. Oh god, Sunbray is so good in this matchup. So Pack to the Joint Hunt, it is a force to gather, so I do have to gather into here, and, um, I would kill both explorers, and time passes. Place a presence from bottom track. One, two, three, four. This is where I get that energy. And I'm going to put this presence right over here, creating that sacred site, as well as grouping up my Dahan, trying to play around the Slave Rebellion on C1. I then will play the three cards that I mentioned already. And actually, I no longer need to play Sunlit Air. I can actually play my Terror Turns to Madness instead, because it's at zero cost. I just need an air card. So now I can just get three fear with that. And I can shore up on one of my weaknesses, and that's that I don't generate fear. I then take Gift of Windspit Steps on myself. I make this innate fast, allowing me to push up to three things, and then I get a fear. And then wherever they're pushed to, I get to do one damage per thing pushed. So I'm going to choose pushing these three things. I'm going to push them over to here. Oh, I guess I'm one... Dang. I'm one damage off. It had to be three explorers that I was pushing. Oh, that's so frustrating. Well, I could do... Um, I guess I'll do damage, damage. Actually, we'll do this. Two damage and then a damage here. And then I can do Tempest, which I, which allows me to choose five different invaders, one damage to all of them. So I'm going to choose the city, the town, and then the three explorers. Yep. I was like, I feel like something was just a little bit off. Oh, I was so close to going blightless. Um, so this lives. Of course, it's not the end of the world. Um, do I have any answers? No, not really. I guess I could have grabbed Delusions of Danger instead of um terror and i could use delusions to push the explorer but no it's, that's just not good enough okay so let's see what that event is rising interest um well we automatically pay for it so let's pay for it um let's return that fear card you can add a beast let's add the beast over here to my c1 and i get to add a wilds so i'm going to choose to add this wilds Go over. We're going to go here in this wetland because we have a solution already for here, and we have a solution for here. Your cards. Remove and explore from matching a ravage. Okay, wetland ravage. No, took my blight. Mountain build. As you guys can see, we are doing great. And the explore is mountain. And I need to escalate. 
Hmm. Guess I could go escalate here. Like, honestly, Mountain is a uh, phenomenal explore for us. And the reason why it's phenomenal is because... Uh, oh, and after France 6, that guy dies. And after France 6, we will France 6 back in here. Reason why that's phenomenal is now I can... Um, I guess I could just clear these guys out. I could rebellion this and then just cross my fingers. Tear turns to madness. Three fear. One, two, three. And passes. Reclaim. Getting a miner. And looking... Ooh, cold trade. Fancy. Um, I have some options. Like, I could do... Twilight Fog, make it fast. Add another Strife here, so I'd add, I'll have two Strife that would clear the land completely. Little Boon, Twin Days. Um, oh, Twin Days is hilarious. Like, I could do Twin Days, Twilight Fog. That's wild. Because Twin Days allows me to repeat it three times. So Twin Days, Twilight Fog, plus um, Windsped Steps means I can make this card fast. But it allows me to add three strife, so I can go strife, strife, guess strife here. Only problem is, um, like this mountain's building. I know it's it's just too cute. I mean, it is the best card out of the group, so I'll still grab it. I mean, call of trade is nice, but twin days is twin days. I think we try to just go for the, um, we just try to hope to get a Dahan defend there. Because here, we want to play Tempest, plus Windsped Steps, plus another air card. Guess I could do Tear Turn to Madness again. I can get my innate. Maybe I don't do Tempest here, though. Tempest is not played. We play a different Sun card. Like this. Three. Now I can choose Gift of Wind, Sped Steps on myself, making my innate fast. I get one fear. Push two explorers, and I can kill the town. Now I've stopped this, and I'm in a pretty good spot. I, I still have some great cards for next turn. I have my Tear Turns to Madness for 3 Fear in the Slow. I wonder if I'm just supposed to play Scat. No, I think I'm supposed to play Scatter instead here. Because now I can um, Disrupt as well. Now we do have that Slave Rebellion. We're going to add that Strife over here to the town. It then immediately dies. And the Dahan gets created. Now I have two, two Tear Level 2s plus a a event to possibly get a uh, defend here on C3. And I did not end up getting drive off the interlopers. So putting down roots, uh, drive off the interlopers. So I think I just I push an explorer out. Or do I try to risk? Yeah, I think I do, just to be on the safe side. Stricken. Yes, yeah, so this, this would have saved it. Gather and defend two. I think I'm supposed to gather this and let those guys trade. Non defend, yep, so I should have just risked it. Oh well, because we're so far ahead. Like it ravage, they build, nothing's happening. And the explorer is jungle. So explore, explore town. Explore and we need a France 6. We'll France 6 into C3. And I think we've officially locked this game down. Um, I think what I want to do is first Twilight Fog, the strife over here. I think I actually got to reclaim because I need my wind sped steps though. Ah. So close. I think we Twilight Fog that. Then we do Scatter, Pushing the Town, Explorer, and Explorer. And then we can, yeah, I think that's what we do. And we Reclaim here. 
This is uh, the, the classic reclaim move because we need that wind sped steps. Ooh, there's rain of blood. Another uh, lots of fear. Um, I love confounding mists. I'm just going to grab the defend just because I need an answer for my C1. Get sped steps. We do tempest. And I need a zero cost um, air. I guess I do tear turns to madness here so I can get more fear. Wind sped steps on myself, making my innate fast. One fear. And I'll push these three things into here. Damage, damage, damage. And then we use Tempest. One damage to five different things. So all of this. Two, four, five. All of this dies. And it's crazy. We would have won here if we didn't get the... Um, if we didn't end up getting the... Uh, uh, place an inland town. Create a town here with putting down roots. The next turn they'll build a town and then um, I'll probably look to if it's wetlands as a follow-up. Um, I wonder if I'm supposed to play scatter here instead just so I can push this town out. You scatter. That event is heavy farming. Each beast destroys, adding to haunt to a jungle or wetland. All right, your cards. Gape goats. Nope, not good enough. We're almost there though. Mountain ravage, jungle build, and the explorer's coast. Hopefully, and sting. That is. So sad. Um, explore, 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 explore in a town. That is actually, and I have to France six. It's like, why won't you just die? Ah. It had to be, Sans. Now I can't do the reclaim play. I guess we do scatter into the winds and we can go town, explorer, 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 and scatter. We time pass and this is where we go with the energy. One, two, three, four. And we put this down and I guess we go create a triple stack here, push that explorer. And I believe I win next turn in the fast. And we just play all of our cards. We have Confounding Mists, that nice Defend 4 here. Um, actually, instead of playing Gift, I will play Twin Days, so I can get triple repeats. So I think we're pretty much good to go. There's just this town here. If it's a Wetland Explorer, I'll, I could take the Cascading... Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just see what it is. Harvest Bounty, perfect. Oh, this is so once again so close to actually winning us the game. I have to choose here. That dies. Explorer's Blunder. That is it. Oh, and then I get coordinated raids. Coordinated strikes. So builds. And please be coasts so I can win. Yeah, coasts. Grant six. We're almost there. And we get to do the innate. That's going to be one fear. Push these two things into here and we'll kill a town. And then we'll do, um, twi uh, we'll use Terror Turns to Madness three times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll use Twilight Fog, adding a strife to the town and pushing it to Han. And we just. I guess we can just reclaim here. And it does not matter what I draft here. All we are going to do is do the innate. Actually, I could do Pact here. Pact with Windsped Steps. Using Windsped Steps to make Pact fast. Gathering into Han into my land that does not have any presence. So I cannot do this play. So instead, I will go the other route. Once again, we'll use Windspit Steps to make my Nate pushing a bunch of invaders. 
will push some invaders out of the jungle, or actually out of the sands, pushing them to here and killing the town. And that is it. That is GG. So a very solid game of Sunbright into France 6. I have plenty of videos of the spirit, um, especially in the digital app. So if this is a spirit adversary competition that you're having issues with, um, add some comments and I can get back to you guys.